Well, there are a couple of elephants and clowns short of a circus. They have uh, nuns and pigs instead. Oh, okay. The St. Saint Paul Saints are definitely one of the more unique attractions in professional sports. But at the center of it all, there is still a baseball game to be played. David McCoy sat down with their manager to preview the baseball part of their season. What are your impressions of, of this year's team as you guys get going here? Okay, well, we're a weekend right now, and... Um, you know, we've started out. We've we've played well. We're five and one to start the season, and um, but obviously there's a long way to go. And um, but it has been a good start so far. When you look at the roster that you've put together, how does this one compare with others that you've put together recently? Is it a similar team, similar sort of plan? Have you tried to change anything? Um, usually, when we're trying to get the players in the off season, you know, you usually just try to get the best players available, and um, we all go after the best guys. I think this year we we do have. Quite a few more experienced double A, triple A guys. Uh, there seems to be a few more of those. And um, but I'll say this though: the attitude of of the guys on this team, they get it. They're here for the right reasons. They're here to play to win, and, um, and their goal is to get to the big leagues. And and that's why you should be playing is, is, is to get back with a major league club and ho you know hopefully get a chance to play in the big leagues. Um, but until that happens, they're definitely here to win. Who are a couple of new guys you think fans are really going to enjoy watching? Um, well, you know, we have, um, again, we have a few, you know, double A, triple A guys. Noah Perio is, you know, he's been in this league for for a couple years and he was in double A last year and he's a nice left handed bat that we have. Uh, he can play short, can play third, can play second. Um, Dante Bichette Jr., um, he's got off to a good start as well. He's playing third for us, he can play first, and he wants the opportunity to catch too, so, um, you know, he will, um, he'll get that opportunity as well. Is he a guy, I mean, can you tell his dad was his dad? I mean, do you see things in his game that... You know, it's, um, you know, he swings it, he swings it good, and uh, again, obviously it's a little early, we haven't seen that much of him yet, but um, um, he's a good kid, quiet kid. Um, Gets the job done, and, and he definitely has the right attitude. And and obviously, he had a good teacher and his dad all these years. And um, so we think he'll have a good year. And and another guy too that um, our catcher Justin O'Connor, who's a former first rounder, has been in Triple A, Double A. To me, he is he is so solid back there. He throws as good as anybody I've ever had, and um, and he can swing it as well too. And you know, it wouldn't surprise me if he was here all year long. If, you know, if he hit double-digit homers. Mark Hamburger was such a fan favorite when he had a pretty good pitcher too, right? Absolutely. Is there another guy, maybe a local guy, that that you think fans could get attached to here? Yeah, Hamburger was, um, he was great for us and pitched some big games and, you know, probably the most popular player out there. And um, But, you know, there are other guys on this team as well that, you know, the fans are going to like him. Um, our closer, Tom Wilhelmson, he's been in the big leagues for like the last seven years and, um, you know, he's, um, he's a character as well, and um, the fans will end up, um, you know, enjoying to see him pitch as long as he's here. I mean, I mean he's 94, 95, and um, that doesn't come along very often. And, and again, there are a lot of other quality guys on our team. We have Brady Shoemaker back, um, who was great for us last year, and, um, and Jace Boyd, who hit 297 in AAA last year, and that doesn't come along every day. So. Um, to have those quality, you know, experienced players, um, I think the fans will like this team. I mean, I mean, we're sitting out here on just an absolutely beautiful day. I mean, how often do you walk into the park and go, I, I can't believe this is my office? It's awesome because you never get sick of it either because you walk in every day and you just, you know, even when I got here right after the snow ended, I guess it's it was a lousy like winter. three minutes ago, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's when I walked in, the field looked in great shape and um, but Lee, look at it now. It's it's an unbelievable place, and I'm lucky to be here. And all the players that are here, they appreciate being here. And um, it's um, it's a beautiful place, especially when it is as nice as it's nice. been. The Saints are off to a six and three start this season. Their next home game is Friday, June 8th, against the Sioux Falls Canaries. <laughs>